Welcome to this video on e-invest ASBA using SBI Retail Internet Banking. ASBA means application supported by blocked amount. SEBI has mandated that all investors except anchor investors applying in an IPO are required to only use the ASPA facility for making payments. To apply for an IPO issue through the retail internet banking, you should have the internet banking facility of State Bank of India with transaction rights, a DMAT account with any depository participants, a valid permanent account number. In this video, you will understand how a retail individual investors employee and shareholder can apply for an IPO equity using internet banking facility of State Bank of India. Visit https colon double slash online sbi.com. Click on personal banking and login. Click continue to login. Enter the username password and CAPTCHA, click on login, enter the OTP received in your registered mobile and continue. Click on the e-service tab, select DMAT services and ASBA services menu option from the drop down. Select IPO equity rights option under ASBA services. You will find three options here. Apply IPO, Edit IPO, IPO History. Click on Apply IPO. Go through the instructions and click Accept. All the current IPOs launched will appear here. In this example, we are selecting XYZ Company Limited. You may select the IPO company name for which you want to place your bid. Click Go to proceed. Go through and accept the undertaking by clicking Accept. Select the appropriate category. In this case, only one category individual is appearing. Go through the instructions mentioned below once and proceed. Check the details such as issue open and close date, minimum bid quantity, bid multiples, lower and upper price band. You may also click and view the transaction limit for this IPO issue. I scroll down and select the registered applicant. Select the nickname you have created earlier and click Go. If you have not added, you may do so by clicking the option besides Pan field. Please remember to apply in an IPO, first you need to register the applicant details. And for that, go to your profile section, click manage IPO applicant, enter your profile password and submit. Enter the details such as applicant name, PAN, select depository, DPID, client ID and nickname. Click add, check the details and confirm to proceed. After selecting the registered applicant, it will auto-populate your PAN, transaction type and DP account number. Up to three bits can be made within price span. For example, if you enter the quantity as 50 and price as rupees 660 in bid 1, it will automatically calculate the bid value. Similarly, you can also enter bid 2 and bid 3. Select the account number and submit to proceed. If you are applying at cutoff price, only one bid can be made. For example, if you enter the quantity as 273, maximum price 690 will be picked up. Only retail individual investor is eligible to apply at cutoff price. Please remember the maximum bid value should not exceed rupees 2 lakhs for retail individual investor in any case. Select the account number and submit to proceed.
read the authorization clause and click confirm to submit your bid. Authenticate the transaction through OTP or SBI Secure OTP app. If you are using SBI Secure OTP app, click confirm to proceed. You will get a successful message on this screen. Please click on the link shown to print the acknowledgement. You may modify, delete, revise the bid only up to cutoff time within the bidding process. Cutoff time for process is 2 p.m. Transactions enter after 2 p.m. will be taken up for the next working day. Click Edit IPO tab and click the reference number. Scroll down and go to the bid section. You may modify the bid quantity here and you may also delete your bid. Mark the delete checkbox and click submit to confirm your action. In the IPO history tab, you can view all the previous IPOs you have applied for. You may print acknowledgement and keep the acknowledgement for IPO application. The bidder would be intimated through SMS for creation of hold, for removal of hold, or for debit in the account if shares are allotted. Bidders will also be intimated through email for successful bidding status or for allotment or non-allotment of shares. In case of allotment of shares, your DP account would get credited to the extent of allotted equity shares. The bank account gets debited after finalization of basis of allotment. In case of full allotment of shares, blocked amount will get debited from your bank account. In case of partial allotment, money will be debited for the allotment value and the balance amount will be unblocked in the investor's account. For unsuccessful applicants, the lien on deposit account is removed within approximately three days after finalization of basis of allotment. In case there is an insufficient balance available in the applicant's account, the application will be rejected by the bank itself. If the information furnished by the applicant is incorrect or insufficient, the bid is liable to be rejected and company or bank would not be liable for losses if any. Verify your bank account for blocking and unblocking of funds. Check your DMAT account in case the shares are allotted to you. For any updates or clarification, contact your bank. Thank you and happy investing.